I can't get a job. So I just got my daughter to sleep. It was an ordeal. I mean, she's an angel, but she does not enjoy her bedtime. Now, while I was trying to get her to sleep, I paced back and forth. I mean, it's me who has spoiled her, so she can only fall asleep in my arms and no one else's arms. So that's, that's a little bit annoying. But while trying to get her to sleep, I had this video in the background. Now... This video got my blood boiling. No, it could be because I'm sunburned or, well, well, mainly because it resonates with me on an extreme level. I don't even want to get into it, but since I'm currently on parental leave and I'm struggling for content since I can't play games, really, I am going to make a rant video. Not necessarily a reaction video. I mean, it is a reaction video, but I'm not going to, like, play the entire video. I'm going to link... The video, the original creator is Big Tug. I haven't heard of the fella, but he's a, you know, Toby Maguire looking person, and the entire video just. Uh, yeah. It, it It's a video about me. Yeah, this fella talking about how hard it is to get a job nowadays. Now, well, yes, the only thing worse than a job is no job. Well, 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 you don't fucking say. Oh, God. Yeah, that is. Listen. I'm gonna tell you a lot about myself throughout this video, so yeah, it's it's gonna be something. But yeah, it's just ranting on ranting, and I'm also taking up the space of Sir Asmund Gold. I mean, I can put myself right over his chat because, well, no one reads that anyhow. So now I'm over here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, fucking Glassdoor, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Jobble, my job here, just. I, I mean, I probably have an account on all of these things. Well, I don't have a Twitter, and, 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 well, actually, uh, j just a few. But I'm registered at pretty much every fucking web recruiter that exists, or that are known to man. <sighs> and oh boy, are they fucking useless. <sighs> I've been on these, a lot of these, for quite some time. Many, 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 many years. And the jobs that some of these send me is just laughable. I'll get into that later. Prison lit office spaces. The sad thing, I would love to work at, at a place like this. Yeah, it, 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 it's a very good way to be just productive. I mean, it's probably soul, soulless and you'll probably end up like in, insanely fucking depressed because, well, you're looking at nothing and the air is horrible. Ugh, but I just want a job. I just want a fucking job. Well, that's the difference between me and Mr. Rasmongold is that I really want a fucking job. I want to work. That's the difference between me and a lot of people that, like, I actually want to work. Working is great. It, it gives you something to do as well as a way to make money. I mean, of course, the main factor of it is money. Like, I'm not going to do a job if it doesn't pay well. I mean, my dream job is, well, this, being a YouTuber, mostly gaming YouTuber. And on another note, I mean, I this is probably going to be the only time that I do reactionary content, but... Since my daughter is asleep right now, it is a quick and easy way to just let me rant for a bit. I mean, we're gonna get right back into gaming videos uh, after this, so yeah, but uh, again, since I'm currently on parental leave, I don't have time to play much, so re reaction. Different type of reaction, I think. Well, uh, yes, I want a job. Give me a job. Someone please give me a fucking job. Yeah, I remember when Kata released. Uh, everyone in my student group just took sick leave. I was the only one who showed up. My lecturer asked me, where the hell is the rest of your team? And I just said, well, they're playing WoW. He did not understand what WoW was. He didn't understand gaming. He was an old fuck, but he was like, and I got all the blame for it. And he just stood there and just belittled me like, like, why are you here then? Like, well, because I'm, I got work to do. And, and to be fair, like, I was going to play as soon as I got home, but I didn't want to skip school. I could have, but... I mean, I should have. <laughs> oh, the link, uh, LinkedIn fucking thingamajigs. Yeah, I played this game. Yeah, I I created my LinkedIn a long time ago. Mainly to get a job and also when I started my own business. I mean, I wanted to have a page for my business. So I could also stay in contact with my college friends and all that kind of stupid, useless nonsense. In Idaho. Oh, yeah. Can you tell that this is going to be a negative video? <laughs> I'm, 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 just, uh, I'm just fuming over here. Uh, and it's hot. My AC is just blasting off in the side. I mean, I'm probably not making any points right now, but again, I am a Rhinin, and this isn't about making sense. I'm uh, just tired. Very tired. Okay, let's continue.
Being unemployed is fun. No, it's not. Not even a little bit. Fuck no. Like, no. If you don't have responsibilities, probably. I have a children. Like, I have a child. I have a wife. And I have an extremely expensive cat. So, no, it is not fun to be unemployed. Laying around all day, well, I did that in my teen years. That was fun, because I didn't have responsibilities, but as an adult, it is not. It is not fun. I mean, actually, it fucking is. Like, I love spending time with my daughter. If I could do this full-time, I would, 100%. Uh, but yeah, actually, on another note... <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna get political here, but yeah, the feminists have surely screwed over women, because this is probably the happiest that I've been ever. Just staying at home all day with my daughter, just playing with my daughter, watching cartoons, going outside, playing in the grass. This, if this was my life, it would be great. But because of the economy, I mean, my wife can't support both of, both of us. I mean, she kind of can, but again, if we were planning to get like a bigger house and, uh, you know, uh, being able to retire someday, then uh, yeah, I also need to find a job and I need to do that rather quickly. Well, not now since I'm on parental leave, but right after parental leave, I need to find something. Oh, that's true. That's very true. I mean, I'm not gonna ponder on that too much, but yeah, I want to be employed. I want money. I want to be able to support my family. Give me a fucking job. I'm college educated for fuck's sake. And I'm a big boy, I can lift heavy shit. Oh boy, oh boy, yeah, I, I have a feeling that this is gonna be a bitchy video. But that is what I'm good at, so let's, uh, let's continue. I haven't spoken about this, but the reason I was fired was because of downsizing. I mean, that's, that's business, and that's business, and I mean, I, like, shit. I mean, a lot of companies did do this during the Rona. They just, uh, like, they saw an opportunity to make money, and they just hired everyone, and a lot of businesses thrived in this area. Sadly, mine didn't, because I was, uh, I specialized in on-site consultations, so, yeah, people weren't too happy about that. So, yeah, my business got, uh, turned belly up, but a lot of other businesses thrived. But now, since the Rona is over, there's layoffs right and left. Every fucking where. Especially in the IT industry, which is, uh, where I'm currently applying, so, yeah. Well, at least I'm not applying for jobs where I just wake up in the morning and get myself, like, the, the, the big smoothies and whatnot. I mean, I want to go to work, start coding, or fixing IT-related issues, and then go home and be with my family. Ugh. Man, jobs available. I mean, I've already watched this video, which is why I decided to make a reaction of the video. It's not a live reaction, and I'm obviously going to cut out everything that... Uh, like, I'm gonna link the original video in the description, and I'm not gonna, like, post the entire video. This is mainly gonna be me ranting about everything that is going on in said video. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of jobs out there, but apparently there are no, no, none of them are real. And of course, some of them require insane amount of experience and education. I have both, but uh, again, I guess I'm not uh, hireable. The unhireable Iranian. Yeah. But here's the thing with me. Listen, I, like, I'm gonna sound like a posh bastard for a little moment. Yes, I'm college educated. I have a bachelor's degree and eight years of higher education. Like, I've taken some master level courses in, at a university. Now, I have worked pretty much every job that you can imagine. I've been working since I was eight years old. I, uh, like, I have transported shit, I've lifted shit, I've cleaned shit. I mean, uh, but yeah. This point is that, like, all of the jobs that are left are horrible jobs. Now, he's going to make a point of that being, like, the Amazon Fulfillment Center, which I wouldn't, like, like, sure, I could do that job. But the main issue is the money. I am willing to shovel shit as long as it gets me a house with a backyard. Seriously, I would shovel shit. I have applied to be a farmhand. Like, I'm willing to shovel horse shit as long as it gets me money. I mean, that's the main issue with the unemployment in probably America and also my country is that no one wants to do like the menial jobs because they don't pay enough. Now, of course, I want to get a job in the field that I've studied, dedicated eight years of my life to. That would be great so that I could actually use everything that I've learned rather than just wasting uh, all that money and time. Then again, it was a good time, but again, I don't like I have an extremely expensive piece of paper on my wall that just says diploma. Ugh, what? Yeah, but if these jobs actually offered a living wage, 
and I'm talking good living, not like like using like living paycheck to paycheck, actually being able to take maybe a few weeks of vacation every year, being actually able to own a home. I mean, we own the home that we live in right now, but I mean, our backyard is communal, communal as in we share the backyard. Like, I just want to give my children the childhood that I had. Like, I had a backyard when I was growing up. I could play football there. I could have plenty of friends over. Like, like, why isn't that possible? And I was raised in a single parent home, in a single mother home. I was trying to make a point. Yeah, probably the point about that I'm willing to shovel shit as long as it pays me enough. Listen, I've said before that I'm struggling to find a job. Like, I've gotten to interviews where, where they're basically offering me the job. And when they say the payment, it's like, well, we can do 15 bucks an hour. In my country, that is literally, literally nothing. It wouldn't even cover me driving to work and back. It is, like, fucking insane. Like, if I was living at home, if I was a teenager and I didn't have expenses, it would maybe be something. But I have children now, and I have a very expensive cat. And my wife, well, my wife isn't too expensive, but still, I want to buy her some stuff. Ugh. Right, okay, let's continue the video. Uh, fast food, warehouse, and retail. Yeah, I mean, sure. I don't think I could ever worse, uh, work at a fast food restaurant. Seriously. Especially of how little they're paid to the amount of work they do. Listen, when I was, when I had my own business and it was doing very well the first quarter, I was thinking about how hiring help to expand the business. And of course, my first, I mean, my first thought was that, yes, I would hire people that have worked on Mac in McDonald's. Basically because they're extremely hardworking and they're able to take a lot of shit. And in the consultation business, you kind of have to take a lot of shit. Same goes for retail. Now, a warehouse job. Now, that was fucking fantastic. I worked at a warehouse for a couple of years. That uh, that was relaxing. Extremely so. Uh, physical labor. Physical labor is actually fantastic. Backbreaking work. But still, if you have the tools, then you don't really have to be that in good of a cha shape. Now, that is definitely something that I could do. But again, it is all about the money. Now, when I was working at a warehouse, I mean, this was just basically to get a little bit of butter on the bread, as we uh, have a saying in my country. Okay, it's getting a little bit, there we go, a little bit more light. Yeah, so the way that I viewed it is that I was basically getting paid to work out, which is, it was fine. Yeah, I've sh surely become a father with a dad bod and everything, <laughs> getting old, right. But yeah, if warehouse or retail, even fast food, if they actually offered... Uh, good enough salaries, and uh, it would be something. And all of the prices of fast food restaurants... Okay, let us let me go on another tangent. The fucking price of a burger, like a regular cheeseburger at McDonald's. Like, way back when I started college, this was like... Yeah, when I was... Uh, when I started college, I used to go to McDonald's, and for a dollar, you got like three or four cheeseburgers. Now, one cheeseburger costs like three dollars. Like, what what... What in the biscuit is going on? The oh, fuck, the inflation. And you can bet that the salary has, hasn't increased. I mean, I'm not trying to demean anyone working at a fast food restaurant. I couldn't do it. it not not a chance. Uh, I worked at a warehouse. I mean, that that's fun, like, uh, using my using my man strength in order to lift stuff now. And that was fun. And using a forklift and that kind of stuff. I mean, it, it, it was something. And retail is, like, decent. Uh, I worked retail since I was 13, so, you know. The pay sucked. That it did. Especially when you were thinking, like, warehouse work where you're literally breaking your back in order to lift stuff. <sighs> but, yeah, I mean, if the pay was better, a lot of people, a lot more people would do it. Kids today don't want to work. Uh, I mean, uh, what do we think about that? I mean, I'm part of the older generation. Uh, I've been working all of my life. I Like, my first job as a paper boy, I got paid a dollar a day. Seriously, that was my pay. And I was able to buy a big bag of candy for that dollar. Uh, and when I started retail, I was making eight bucks an hour. No, I was making six bucks an hour. Actually, no, hang on a minute. I'm thinking way wrong. Okay, so when I was 13, I made about five bucks an hour working retail. And then when I turned 16, then I made eight bucks an hour. Yes, because then I could work alone. Uh, because I was technically an adult, so yeah. College is a scam. Well, I've been told this multiple times recently, because when I first, I mean, I moved away from home when I was 16, because I wanted a proper education. 
that is why I wanted money. I wanted a job that I found interesting and could, you know, like you, know, that I would able to build a career from. So I moved far away from my mother, like literally across the country, started my education, got into college, good, got good grades, all of that, finished my bachelor's. I mean, I've been applying for jobs since I started my college degree, like even before that, yeah. And as soon as I finished my bachelor's degree, I kind of like figured out, well, the jobs should just pour in. I was severely wrong, so I continued to take some courses, like to fill out my resume. A little bit of multicultural communication, some market strategies, and eventually I started my own business in order to make money. Uh, but yeah, I've spent a lot of money on college that I really should not have done, because I have a really expensive piece of paper that is basically worthless. Oh boy. Now, my college experience was extremely fun. I met a lot of people, made a ton of friends, and I had a really good time. I got good grades. Insanely good grades, actually. Like my, I want to say dissertation, is that the right word? Like my, my bachelor assignment is still in the Hall of Fame at the university. Like, the best example that you can get, how to get straight A's and how to get the best grade and how you're supposed to do the assignment. Like my... My paper is up there. I mean, it was a group project, but still. Uh, so is college a scam? I mean, it depends. It really depends. For me, it kind of has been. I thought that I would get a job easily once I got the degree. I did not. I had to start my own business because all of the <laughs> places that I applied to required experience. Now, how the hell do you get experience when you require a college degree and experience? I can't get a job unless I have the college degree and how I'm supposed to get experience without that and still be young. Like, like it, it just doesn't make sense. Now, of course, I think they meant that you should lie on your resume, which I obviously should do, but I don't really like to lie, so no. That's why I started my own business, to get said experience. Now, I have a lot of experience when it comes to IT, even IT-related work. I mean, I assembled computers for many a years, and I'm very good at solving problems because I use a computer daily. But no, no, Siri. I mean, it's so fucking fun to see the jobs that I'm applying to, especially when I get into the interview process. They ask me a question, I answer it, and they have to fucking look up the answer themselves. They don't even know. Oh, no, it's, it's embarrassing. Oh, yeah, I've been told this plenty of time. Yeah, you need to be persistent. You need to call them. You need to meet up at their office. Uh, I've, like, since I lost my job at the start of the year, I've applied for probably a thousand jobs by now. Not exaggerating. I mean, and like in just the first couple of weeks, I applied for uh, 70, yeah, about 70 jobs the first week, and then it just started to go downwards. But now I put myself in a position where I apply to about between 5 and 20 jobs a week. Just something that I do easily. Now, I am going to tell you, I, I mean, I've said before, I've stated that, that I've played, uh, applied for over 80,000 jobs. Now, this is an incredibly high number. Now, because when I started my college degree, I already saw that you needed experience for everything, so I made a little bit of an app. Well, not necessarily an app, but like a tiny piece of code that applied for every job that contained certain buzzwords like consultation, web development, programmer, JavaScript, C Sharp, .NET programming, all, all of the good stuff. So, yeah, I had a throwaway email where I just applied for absolutely everything. I did not get a lot of interviews from that. Maybe I even have gotten blacklisted. Maybe that's a reason, but I mean, I've changed my email and all that kind of stuff, and uh, yeah, okay, oof, right, okay. Onwards with the video, this is gonna take some time. Oh yeah, and the whole issue with like the minimum wage, wage 15 to 20 bucks. I mean, yes, I was fired because of downsizing, but they hire, hired a new fella, but that was like, he, he's paid like what 11 bucks an hour. Now, he was a younger fella, and he's quit now, <laughs> obviously because the job sucked, but yes, 20 bucks an hour is not enough. Not today. Especially not in my country, where just a cheeseburger is almost 5 bucks. Yeah, oh, it, it is it is insane. Uh, the base salary of stuff is just so extremely low. Like, living paycheck to paycheck sucks. It sucks donkey dick. There's not a lot of people that can do what I do. I mean, I'm not trying to upsell myself a lot or brag, really. But yeah, I have finished college. I have gained a lot of, uh, like, 
skills that you are not really able to get unless you search them up on YouTube. So yeah, I, I, I like ugh, 20 bucks an hour is just laughably low. Like it's, it's basically nothing. It's fucking nothing. Ugh. If you have children, I mean like my, uh, my daughter eats for like 400 bucks a month. That's just my daughter. She's a baby. Ugh. And that's just the food. Then there's, you know, clothing and diapers and uh, like, uh, I mean, basically all of her clothes are hand-me-downs. Some are even from me, which is kind of fun because they're like, they're ancient. And all of her toys are either from, you know, when she was baptized or again, hand-me-downs uh, from me and my wife. Uh, but, but yeah, shit is expensive. Everything is fucking expensive. What else is expensive is fucking energy drinks, which I'm extremely addicted to. Which I eventually will have to stop, because, well, unless I get a job, then this is some very expensive habit. Oh, but boy, is it good. Oh, ah, fills me with life. Ah, uh, yeah, fucking contract work. Yeah, I did that a lot, too. Uh, I mean, it is fine, because the relationship between the employer and the employee shouldn't be that set in stone. I believe that myself, since I started a business, I mean, that's basically what I did. It was all contract work. And once we're done, you don't have to pay me anymore, and that's it. That was a fine relationship. Uh, but if you're solely reliant on that, and if you don't have your own business that is doing well, mine belly flop. I mean, I still have the business, but I'm not making money, so there you go. Uh, Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, he's gonna bring up the point of uh, fucking personality tests and all the assignments and everything. Uh, why the fuck do I need to take a personality test in order to work retail? Why? Just, just why? Like, it doesn't make any sense at all. Why should I? Like, and, and these fucking questions are, like, 100%, like, what makes you angry? Are you an angry person? Does this make you angry? Will you assault the customer if they call you a piece of shit and spit on you? Uh, yeah, I've, I've done this a couple of times, and just because there were some retail jobs that worked in, like, computer parts and such, and like, and well, okay, I know, I know technology, I can work there, but sip, sifting through 200 questions about what makes you angry makes me angry. <laughs> uh, especially when it's the same question over and over and over. Eventually, as I did at the start of college, I just basically made it automated. I just, like, press every right button. I mean, a lot of these questionnaires are also <laughs> extremely easily coded. They're like the quizzes that you maybe have done in college or in high school, where you just right-click, inspect the code, and then you can see which answer is the right answer. This is the correct answer, so I did that for basically all of them. So I just, instead of spending half an hour, I spent two seconds and just pressed a button and everything was done, but still didn't get a call back. <sighs> Oh yeah, the working assignments you get when you're applying to IT-related jobs, especially when it comes to programming. Yeah, here's an entire project. It will take you a week to complete. Will we pay you? Fuck no. Will we give you, like, anything to compensate? Like, not at all. Will, will we give you the job? No. Uh, like... I'm almost embarrassed to admit that I've done this multiple times. I've completed the assignment, sent them in, and they were just like, no, someone else did it better. I'm just like, well, that's an entire week wasted. Eventually, I just started to do pseudocode, which is like, uh, basically, fuck you. Yeah, I know how to solve the problem. Here is how I would solve the problem. It did not take me a week to write the entire code. This is how I will solve the problem. Now give me the job, and I'll solve the problem for money. Right. Uh it is insane, the gall of some people. I had uh, I had a, a guy that basically begged me to finish a project for him. Like, yeah, just do this and we'll see what you're made of and then maybe, maybe, just maybe you'll get a job. I just told him, no, I'm not working for free. I don't have the time. This is back when I already had a job and I was like, I was busy. Like, I couldn't dedicate this much unless you offer me a job with better pay than I already have. I'm not going to do the job without any pay. <sighs> I mean, I get why they do it. I mean, like, so they don't, don't get people who don't know how to code. They probably get a lot of those people. I mean, sure, I am applied for jobs where they were, like, an entry-level coding job. And they wanted me to do insane work. I mean, I don't even remember what they wanted me to do. And I just said, I, I don't know how to do this. This is going to take me a couple of weeks to learn how to do. I was honest with them. They appreciated my honesty. Obviously, I didn't get the job, which is good because I wouldn't be able to do it. No idea what they even wanted me to do. It was algorithms upon algorithms in order to 
I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember what the fuck they, uh, they were doing. They required just a bachelor's degree and basic knowledge of JavaScript, HTML, CMS, uh, like CSS and that kind of stuff. I thought it was like a web development stuff. But no, they wanted a hardcore senior level programmer. Don't even remember the language that it was in. It was some kind of derivation of Java, I guess. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I think a company stole my code after I did a project for the interview. Uh, this happens. This happens a lot. I believe this has happened to me a couple of times too. I can't prove it because, well, obviously they changed the code and a lot of this isn't really freely available. Uh, but yeah, that is also why I started just doing pseudocode. <laughs> I mean, this is a genius way to just get free code. I, I mean, I must say, they just, this is part of the interview process. You need to do this project, make this app, make this stuff. And like, now it appears that we don't even have a job for you. Like the project was canceled or anything like that. And they just take the code and run away with it and get paid. Sadly, that's how a lot of these businesses <laughs> do, do shit. Uh, yeah, that is, that is something. Okay, hang on. I think that we need to put myself back over mirror and let's actually go big boy camera for this <sighs> focus there we go right okay so i've been recording for quite some time i'm just gonna edit it down i mean i don't want to do this kind of content really i don't want to do reactionary content but i just felt like i had to get this off my chest i've been applying for jobs for so long and i think my daughter is waking up right now also so i need to go and do dad stuff just just a little bit of rant video hopefully i will get a job in the future but we we will see Maybe, maybe this video just turns out to be a massive, massive success. Most likely not. I mean, I'm not trying to piggyback off Asmund Gold and Mr. Tugs over here, but yeah, I, uh, I, I just felt like I had to make at least one of these videos for my channel just to see how it goes. I mean, if this becomes viral, maybe it's something that I will um, continue to do, but not really. No, no, no. I want to do gaming videos, and that is basically the entire reason why I started up the YouTube channel because I want to play games. But yeah, my daughter is slowly waking up, so I gotta go. So I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.